Yes, the roundest and the reddest beauty in all Spitek.
not like you. Will she, lads? No, no. no. No, captain's daughters don't marry former Dan's. Shame, shame! Dick Deli, that sentiment to you are a disgrace to our common nature. But it's a strange anomaly that the daughter of a man who hails from the quarter deck may not love another who lays out on the foreyard arm. For a man is but a man, whether he hoists his flag at the main truck or his sacks on the main deck. Ah! Ah, ah it's a queer world. Dick Deli. I've no desire to press hardly on you, but such a revolutionary sentiment is enough to make an honest sailor shudder. <laughs> Me lads, our gallant captain has come on deck. Let us greet him as so brave an officer and so gallant a seaman deserves. <laughs> Thank you. 
your guest today for Sir Joseph Porter, KCB, will be here this afternoon to claim your promised hand. Oh, Father, your words cut me to the quick. I can esteem, reverence, venerate Sir Joseph, for I know he is a great and good man. Oh, I cannot love him. My heart is already given. It is then as I feared. Given? And to whom? Not to some gilded lordling. Oh, no, father. The object of my love is no lordling. Oh, pity me, for he is but a humble sailor on board your own ship. Impossible! <laughs> yes, tis true, too true. A common sailor? Oh, fine! <laughs> Thank you. 